Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the series. This is a technical skills video on the topic of conversion between scientific notation and decimal notation. And we're going to begin with the easier one of the two, uh, conversion from scientific notation to decimal notation. Now I'm going to explain things through examples. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I'll just quickly remind you that uh, in the previous video, as we discussed in the previous video, um, a positive exponent of 10 requires that the decimal point should move forward. A zero exponent of 10 leaves the decimal point where it is, and the negative exponent of 10 moves the decimal point backward. Now, example one, 2.784 times 10 to the power of 2. Since the exponent is positive, decimal point moves forward over two digits because we are multiplying by 10 twice and therefore we end up with 278.4 number two now sometimes you might have to add zeros because you don't have enough digits to to go over uh, 2.784 times 10 to the power of 5 requires that the decimal point should move forward over five digits and uh, and so we move it over seven eight and four and then we will add two more zeros. And that gives us 278,400. If your number, uh, if, uh, if the significant, uh, which is the number that multiplies 10, uh, mantissa or significant, if it's negative, uh, then your answer will be negative as well. Uh, and, uh, and that's always true. Uh, the only thing you need to know about the negative sign here is that the number is negative. Whether you write it in scientific notation or in decimal notation, it will be negative. Uh, now, uh, the exponent of 2 requires that we move the decimal point forward over two digits. So we will end up with negative 278.4. Problem 4. Uh, again, uh, like problem number 2, you might have to add zeros. Uh, again, the number will be negative because of the negative sign, uh, and the decimal point moves forward over five digits. Uh, we will move the decimal point forward over seven, eight, four, and then we need to add two more zeros. And we get negative uh, 278,400. Problem five. Uh, as we discussed in the previous video, uh, 10 to the power of zero is one, uh, and, and therefore, uh, multiplication by 1 does not change the number, and therefore the decimal point uh, stays where it is. We get 2.784. Uh, as before, if the number that you start with, if the significant is negative, uh, then the number in decimal notation will also be negative. Exponent of 0 indicates that the decimal point does not move. And we get negative 2.784. Problem 7. A negative exponent requires that we move the decimal point back over two digits. Uh, again, we discussed this the, in, the, in the previous video uh, as to why is it that the negative sign uh, implies repeated division by 10. Uh, but it does, and, uh, and uh, it requires in this case that we actually divide by 10 twice, and decimal point moves back over two digits. We get 0 0.02784. <clears throat> Problem 8. Uh, as usual, if the number that you start with, if the significant uh, in, the, in scientific notation is negative, then uh, the, in, in the, the, its decimal representation will also be negative. Uh, decimal point again moves back over two digits, and we end up with negative 0 0.02784. Now, please uh, do not uh, confuse the two negative signs here. Uh, this, this negative sign, uh, the exponent, indicates that the decimal point moves back, whereas this negative sign indicates that the number itself is negative. All right, uh, conversion from decimal notation to scientific notation. Uh, now, generally, this is an easy process. Uh, the only time uh, where uh, some, some people experience difficulty is in determining whether the exponent of 10 in the scientific notation representation of, of the number uh, should be positive or negative. And I do have a very, very neat kind of a, uh, a trick uh, to use that quickly tells you whether the exponent is positive or negative. That's the most difficult part of uh, converting from decimal notation to scientific notation. 
and uh, and uh, just to uh, very quickly uh, tell you so, sort of in advance give you a heads up as to what, what's coming up uh, you you will notice that uh, anytime your decimal number begins with a zero point as in here and here the exponent of 10 will be negative and that's the kind of trick we're going to use to determine whether the exponent of 10 should be positive or negative. Let's take a look at some, uh, some examples. Number one, 452.7 is equal to. So the first step is always to move the decimal point so that you have one non-zero digit on the left. Uh, remember, this is one of the requirements of scientific notation. So in this case, we have to move the decimal point and put it in between 4 and 5. And so we get 4.527. Then we put down times 10. And now we have to work out the exponent. Of course, decimal point has moved over two digits. And the question now is, should we write positive 2 or negative 2 as the exponent of 10? And the answer is that the only time the exponent is negative is, that is if the number that you start with uh, in decimal notation uh, begins with 0 point. Then the exponent of 10 will be negative. This number does not start with 0 point and therefore the exponent of 10 will be positive. It will be a 2 because decimal point moved over 2 digits. And we get 4.527 times 10 to the power of 2. Problem 2. Negative uh, 452.7. It's the same story. Again, uh, the number will be negative uh, when we write it in scientific notation. Uh, so the, the only thing you should know about this negative number is that it will get repeated on the other side. <clears throat> and once you've taken care of it, you don't have to worry about it anymore. So it will be negative. And uh, now we move the decimal point and put it in between 4 and 5 so that we satisfy the condition that there should be one non-zero digit on the left side of the decimal point. And so we write negative 4.527 and then the times we, we put down times 10. Now for the exponent of 10, uh, because the number doesn't begin with 0 point, the exponent will not be negative. The small point moved over two digits, and we end up with exponent 2. Number 3, 3.81, uh, we don't need to move the decimal point. It is where it should be, uh, and, uh, and therefore it did not move, and that means the exponent of 10 is 0. If the number that you uh, start with is negative, uh, then again, it means that in scientific notation, it will also be negative. We don't need to move the decimal point, and therefore the exponent of 10 is 0. Two more problems. 0 0.00243. Now, we need to move the decimal point and bring this in between 2 and 4. And so we write down 2.43 times 10. Now, this is when the exponent will be negative because the number that you start with begins with 0 point and the exponent of 10 uh, here will be negative because decimal point moved over 3 digits from here to between 2 and 4. The exponent of 10 will be negative 3. And the last problem, negative 0 0.00243. We just make sure that the, the answer on, on this side will also be negative. That's uh, all we need to do with the negative sign. Uh, and then we move the decimal point in between uh, 2 and 4. And so we get negative 2.43 times 10. Because the number begins with 0 point, the exponent of 10 will be negative. And because decimal point moved over 3 digits, the exponent of 10 will be negative 3. Okay, everyone, that was a very short video on uh, conversion 2 and from the decimal notation. I'll see you in the next vid video where I will be covering uh, the addition and subtraction of numbers written in scientific notation. Take care, everyone, and see you soon.